Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and sorry for the wait on actually talking about this, but we finally have something to talk about new on the channel, and that is something that has me super freaking hyped, a confirmed Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth continuity game. What is this game? It's Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. Now, we know next to nothing about this game other than what I've heard is that it's speculated to be a prequel game to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. And what I'm showing you guys on screen right now is the first English version of the original screen capture that we saw of it, showing off some of the de details that were first shown to, these game, to this game. And my god, my god, it looks amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, from what we can see alone, it says, A new Cyber Sleuth entry, a story of what's behind the Cyber Sleuths themselves. That right there screams volumes to what this is going to be. Like, I'm already interested. And the big reason I'm interested is because of the fact that I grew up with, well not grew up, but one of my favorite games of last year was Cyber Sleuth. And this is a big freaking deal, man! Like, my god, my god, my god, my lordy, it's amazing. And also, another thing that was shown off recently was another screenshot, which we'll be showing up in a moment, which highlights base. this isn't as good a resolution, but it says flat out the number 320, so my guess is that's the, that's the average amount of Digimon that are in this game which is a challenge compared to the last one, which was 200-something, and 11 of them were locked behind pre-order DLC, which was bullshit. Didn't affect me, because I got the pre-order DLC at the time, but hey. But anyways, it's insane to think that we're going to be having that many Digimon to deal with, and in this, we see a couple different screenshots. The first one we see, I think, is of Deanimon, or a dark version of her, like, cut out somewhat. And then the next one we see is... Well, of a farm island like we did in Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth originally. And the weird thing with this is that it's showing off at least a few Digimon that I know weren't in the first one. Like, I I'm not sure with Unimon. I thought Unimon was a part of it, but I'm not sure. But yeah, going from the bottom of the screenshot upward, we got... And I'm going from right to left. Uh, we got Unimon, we've got Dino Beamon, which was not in Cyber Sleuth. Pyodramon was, but Dino Beamon was not. Uh, Sang Mon, or Sang Loop, whatever. Um, I want to say that's some kind of Dragon Digimon, like a champion level to Cyber Dramon. Um, I know that's a champion level Hackmon, but I can't think of what is part of the name. And then... The one punching the punching bag thing is Grademon, which, if I'm correct, is the ultimate level to Alphamon. And at the bottom we get to just see more info on what the game is for and what it's like and yada yada yada. But as it is, that's just about everything we know about this game so far. Um, I'm hoping that there's going to be something with this game that is going to either shed more light on the Cyber Sleuth story, is going to be just amazing in general, uh, maybe even surpass Cyber Sleuth, depending on what you can do with the game. But in general, I hope Cyber Sleuth, Hacker's Memory, or as I'm going to be calling it for short, DSCSHM, I'm hoping that this game adds something amazing to not just the Cyber Sleuth story, but to the entire story of Digimon games overall. Because let's face it, if Cyber, Sleuth is, if Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory is going to be a thing, then Mirei is going to be another character in this like she was in Cyber Sleuth. Because it seems like up until a certain point in history, Mirei didn't really exist in the games until, I want to say, Redigitize, actually. Since Redigitize, she's had a big role in the games. So, maybe there's something there, maybe there isn't, I don't know. Uh, I know she holds a role somewhat in Digimon World Next Order, haven't gotten that far in the game, but hey, 
I'm still really interested in seeing where this goes, and the one thing that I hope that they expand upon in this game, which is not only just brand new Digimon to actually be able to control and train with, the two big things that I'm hoping that are a big deal that come out with this game are they change the D, the stupid Digivolution limit level things, that AP counter that always annoyed the fuck out of me. I hope to God they change that wicked. I hope that they add more Digimon as to like, like that there were some things that they kind of just half-assed and didn't really include. Like for instance, they included two out of, let's see, the eight or nine canon armor Digivolutions in terms of the anime. So, yeah, I hope they include those guys as well. Um, I hope that they bring more Digimon into the franchise like they did with Next Order. Like, Next Order added a good chunk of Digimon. Like, Meikumon was in there. Uh, Ryodramon was in there. Uh, Gumdramon was in there. Uh, Shoutmon and Omega Shoutmon were in there. But y you get what I'm saying. And... The one thing that I want to be able to take away from this game compared to Cyber Sleuth, not so much the gameplay or anything else that is related with it, but in general, the fun factor with this game is what I'm looking for. But I told you guys I'd give you more light on this situation when I had the time, and I have the time now, so thank you all so much for watching this video. I know it's a day or two late, but work beckoned and I didn't exactly have time to edit so yeah anyways if you like the video hit the like button comment in the comment section with all your tips tricks and all that shite and what do you think of this news are you excited for the new game are you kind of thinking it's meh what are you guys thinking I honestly want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below uh, favorite the video if you want but who the hell favors this kind of video I have no freaking clue I wouldn't favorite it but whatever uh Anyways, this is Fox Rose here, and I'm telling you all to rock and roll, dudes and vixens!